Yes. Hey, oh, we good. got her. Okay, okay, okay. How are you, Mama? I'm good. How you been? I'm great. Finally get to be on here, right? Yes. Let me tell you something. We've been trying to get Lola, just oh, period, on my Star Power radio show. Any <laughs> any media outlet, I've been trying to get her forever. I'm Star Trek. <laughs> and we are. We I'm finally alone. got I you. Know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You got the phone lines blowing up, by the way. Like people are calling in. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into it because you're, you're you're making a special exception by calling in because you're you have to go to a meeting. Let's first talk about. I got to give you guys a personal story. Um, I remember I said oh, like, <laughs> look, look, you know I got to go there. I said like like two summers ago, me and Lola would go down to Berry Farms, we'd hang out, and I remember Lola one day was like, you know what, Autumn, I'm about to start rapping. I was like, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And after that, like, I'd hit her up. Oh, let's go out to dinner. Let's do this. Girl, I'm in the studio. I'm, I'm grinding this out. And look at, yeah. look now. Like, that's awesome. So tell everybody about the grind yeah. and, and how it was coming from, you know, cause everybody knows you were modeling at first, but how was that grind right. going from being a model to now having people take you seriously as a rapper? You said, how was it? Yeah. How, th- th- talk, talk about that grind. It's serious. It's real. You know what I mean? It takes a lot of consistency. It takes a lot of determination. And, I mean, if you're not mentally strong, and if you're not built for it, you don't need to do it. Right. Period. Especially as a woman. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? It takes so much more for us. Right. So it's just all about being consistent, serious, and really being about it. Like, you have to step outside yourself and just um, analyze everything. Analyze yourself self analyze who you are and analyze if this is really what you're trying to do and if, if this is what you're really about and if it's not then it's never going to work for you you know what i mean so right it's just all about being true to yourself and understanding what you're about and just pushing for it and not stopping right so so let's let me ask you this question that that day that you announced you said hey autumn i'm about to be a rapper what what brought that about what made what when did the rap bug bite you well, I, music always been a part of me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Ever since I was a, a youngin, music music was always my form of expression. How I got to release anything I was going through, and so I always knew I would eventually get into it. So when I was asked, you know, what you going to do in prior interviews when I was modeling, I would always state that I would eventually get into music. Right. And timing is everything. So I was at my highest peak in modeling when I decided to make that transition. I was getting offered so much money and so many requests coming at me, but I was just like, okay, if you're serious about certain things, you have to make certain sacrifices. You know what I mean? So I had to turn down the money, the offers, all that, and I decided to officially transition. So it's just all about time, and I always knew I'd eventually get into it. But, you know, when that time came, I just went for it nice so who did you so who did you um like or early on like who helped your career out early on i know um you i know you were great friends with young jeezy and a couple of other rappers in the industry um were those the people that you reached out to no actually i was i featured in my first publication and um after i featured in that one publication it just took off for me and i just got so many different requests so one person that definitely, you know, helped my modeling situation out was 50 Cent. Oh, nice. So, you know, yeah, shout out to 50. Out. Shout out to 50. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he helped, he helped me out too, girl. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, he put me in different um, uh, videos for his artists and um, things like that. And we just took it from there. Nice. Okay. Okay. So let's let's fast forward to what you're doing now. I know you dropped a mixtape a little while ago. Uh, what was What's going on with the mixtape? That was batteries not included. Yeah. Um, you can get that off of thatpip.com. Um, and my website, the official Um Now I'm working on two other mixtapes, one of them called The Crown Ain't Safe, hosted by DJ Ill Will, and another mixtape. I haven't got the title for that yet. Okay. Working on my next single. Um, I'm just in the studio all day, every day, just working. <laughs> I know that's right. I know that's right. Now let's talk real quick about the about the BET nomination because you know I know you came under a lot of fire for that. People were you know doubting your skills, saying, "Oh, she's not this, she's not that." Um, how did that make you feel? Well, the nomination or the critics? well, well, but let's let's do the nomination first, and then let's go let's segue into the critics. Well, the nomination I was based, I was more so humbled. 
by it, mm-hmm. just the recognition of my grind and my hard work and my determination and things like that. I just, you know, I was appreciative of it. And to me, at the moment, when I first heard it, I was just like, all right, that's cool. It's time to go hard. Right. You know what I mean? That, right. That's cool and everything, but now it's time for the next step. Right, 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 right. So the and the critics, you know, what do you have to say to them? I don't have nothing to say to them. I let my work speak for itself. Hey, you know what that's what's up. Look, that's don't, that. You don't pay no mind to them. Right. And I focus on my fans. I focus on the people that I inspire and those that show me love, and I make a, a difference in their lives. That's that's why. That's who I pay attention to. And some of them started off as critics. So mm-hmm. if you don't pay attention to them and you keep doing what you're doing, all that stuff will, will tra- you know, transcend into something positive. Right, right. Now, shout out, um, sh- yeah. shout out to the boss that movement you got going on, Mama. You got girls going crazy. Yeah, shout out to all my boss sets. You know, <laughs> I created a whole movement. The boss set is basically the female version of a boss. Nice. And um, it's not about cars, the clothes, you know, material stuff. A boss is someone that's in control. You know, when you're a boss, you're in control of your life, everything that you got going on. So whether you're in school, whether you got a family you're taking care of, whether you um pursuing something in entertainment, whatever it is, if you're in control of that, you're a boss. When you have failed, if you get back up and, and you take it to the next level, you're a boss. So that's it's just an empowering movement for, for women. Nice. Okay, so if you're just tuning in, we're on the line right now live with Lola Monroe. Let's go ahead and talk about the Taylor Gang movement. Like, I am so proud of you. Let me just let that be known. How did that come about? Well, me and Amber are good friends. We cool. And um, she basically hit me up and was like, you know, Wiz, when I let you. So me and Wiz got together, and, you know, our, our visions are similar, and... He was just like, I see what you got going on. I see your movement. I want you to rap Taylor Gang. So, you know, I feel like his movement is positive. You know what I mean? He right. He's going to be on that other crazy stuff. So I feel like it was a perfect match. And, you know, now we just working. Nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. Hey, Lola, this is the horny horner right here. <laughs> I just want you to know that I went out and got a yellow Camaro. Just because I knew I was going to be talking to you. <laughs> so I want you to, I got my yellow Camaro. So I'm. Hold up, hold up. Did you say your name was? The Horny Hornet. <laughs> the Horny Hornet? I'm buzzing in. <laughs> nice. How, how did you come up with that name, though? The, look, now he's getting interviewed. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't know. Because he, cause he, cause he's always... <laughs> like, he, stays, <laughs> th- he stays stinging the honeys. <laughs> I stay stinging the honeys, <laughs> Okay, so let's get back into it. So, okay, so you got you got Wiz Khalifa on your team now. Um, and I, I was on your Twitter because, you know, of course, I twatch everything you do, girl. Um, you're, you were in the studio. Yes, I do. You were in the studio um, la- yesterday morning. It's, what was it, 530 in the morning? You were in the studio with Juicy J and, 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 and Wiz. I'm sure some magic happened with that. So what can we expect? Oh, yeah. We got, like, we got records on deck. Um, five, five, five something in the morning is nothing. Like, we'd be up in there till daylight. That's, like, a normal thing for me. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we out in L.A. now, and um, we got in the studio yesterday, knocked out this crazy record. Um, I'm not sure when it's going to be out, but, you know, everything is timing and everything is just planned. And so we got we got a lot of few joints um together okay and last but not least I, you're from dc um and I, I have to ask you this can we expect you and wale to do anything together or well, fat true yeah i mean yeah you know everybody busy everybody doing anything but definitely you know it's i think the movement is bigger than anything else you know what i mean so i think it's real important for artists to come together and work so that trail me actually did a record a while back that's not out yet but we about to do another record together, so we spoke on that the other day. Yes, what's I, that? You and I had the party at Stadium, so yes, <laughs> we gonna get it done. When the next time you coming so to DC? I think it's important. Okay, okay. So when you when you coming back this way, back to DC? Uh, probably in a few weeks. Okay. So we got that for in a few weeks. 
All right. Well, yeah, you know what? We'll pick you up from the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Look out for him, Lola. I'm telling you. <laughs> All right. You know what, Lola? Go ahead. Thank you so much for checking into the Autumn Joy Live Show. Real quick, Don't shout out go. to you. And Autumn, you know I got nothing but love for you. We go, we go way back. Yes, girl. My girl, honey. So yes. You got you got to You got to see little Xavier. <laughs> Come by and check him out. My little, yeah, my little baby. I do. You got to send me some pictures. <laughs> oh, I will. I'll, look, I'll text you some now. But real quick, shout out, okay. your, shout out your Twitter. Your Twitter and any web pages uh, where people can find you. Okay, you can check out my website, D T H E E official Lola Monroe dot com. It's an interactive site so you can create your own page, interact with everybody else on the site. And also uh, my Twitter which is D T H E E underscore Lola Monroe. Nice. All right mama. So I will holler at you later. I love you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. That was <laughs> Lola. <laughs> that was Lola Monroe checking in with the Auto Joy Live show right here on EliteDCRadio.com. I'm going to go ahead and get back into this future uh, magic because we had to cut it off. And that's my jam anyway. Coming up, we got uh, Mr. John Wall checking in, baby. So make sure you all keep it locked.